Hi, I'm going to be doing a haul today. I know, I think two videos ago was a haul when I went to a different mall. But, um, I got my taxes back, so I wanted to do a little bit of shopping. And I only got a, well, I kind of got a lot for me. I got a lot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven things, which is quite a bit for me. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to jump right in because it is eleven things. Um... Yeah, um, most of them are makeup, so I'm going to start with the non-makeup items first, and before I even jump in, um, for my eyes, I'm wearing a, you, you can go look down below, I'll put the link, it's a college, like, where, what you'd wear to class, or, like, the library or something, but I added purple to it because I'm, I wanted it to be more, like, springy today, um, but I just added purple, um, shadow as liner, but I'm going to jump right in. And the first thing I got is from Forever 21. Sorry, sleeves is inside out because I've already worn it. It's a floral dress that's pleating around the waist, like so. And it just goes down. It's quite short, but it has really pretty, um, like, button pearl detailing on the sleeve. And it was only $13.50, and I really like it. But if you're going to go get this, the shoulders are very small. Like, you're going to think that you're going to be a small, and you're going to put it on, the shoulders aren't going to be comfortable, and then you're going to be like, okay, I need to go to a medium. And even the medium shoulders are a little tight on me, which I'm kind of disappointed about, but that's okay. It's a very pretty dress. So, um, if your parents have an issue with short clothing, like short dresses or short shorts, you might want to have to wear, well, you're probably going to have to wear leggings underneath these or like a pair of capris or something would look nice. You just have to like ruffle it up a little bit. But yeah, it's a really pretty dress and I really like it. So that's the first thing I got. Well, not the first thing I got, but the first thing I showed you. The next thing I got is something I've already used. I just emptied it so I could show you guys. It is a, like a messenger bag kind of style. And I got it from Target, and it was 34 which I thought was a little bit, a lot, well, it is a lot. And it just has this detailing on the back, and it has the long, the long strap and, the, like, the handle, so you can decide what way you want to carry it. And it's really nice, it's spacious. I use it for school, like, I put my binders in it and whatnot, and, like, I'll put my wallet in it real quick before I get out of my car. But, um, yeah, so that's that. I really like it. I really needed a bag for school because I've been carrying everything all year. So I really like that. And the last thing that's not makeup are these sunglasses. I got them from, what's it called? Oh, crap. I think it might be a local store, but I'm, I'm not sure. It's kind of like an anthropology, but it's not. And they just look like this. They have really nice detailing on the side. They were $12, which is much cheaper than Anthropology, So that's nice. It's, yeah, it's in camera. And they're big, and I'll put them on so you can see. They just look like this. They're nice. I really like them. Um, Yeah, they're good for driving because they're very tinted. I like that, that I can, ooh. Ooh, that sucked. <laughs> but yeah, these are my new sunglasses. I really like them. They were like $12.50. You can get anything like this anywhere really, even Macy's. Macy's might be a little bit expensive, though. a little bit more expensive though. Um, I'm going to start with the makeup that I got from, actually I'll start with nail polishes. I only got two. And I got my first Essie nail polish, which I was really excited about. And it's in the color So Psyched. And these were $6. And it's a very pretty green color. I have it on my nails right now. I love this color. I know, I can already tell it is going to be like my fall. I mean, my spring stable color. It'd be a very good color for fall, too, though. So, I'm really excited. I really need to touch them up, though. And the next color I got was Meet Me on the Star Fairy, which is the in the Hong Kong um, uh, collection, I think. And it's a very pretty, like, metallic purple color. When you see you put it on, it kind of has a pink sheen, which I like, which is nice for um, spring. And that's just the name. I don't know. But, yeah, so that's just what this looks like. They're both $6 at my local, like, beauty store. Like, it's a, it's a hair salon, but they sell these for $6, which Ulta sells them for eight fifty near my house, at least. So, 6 bucks is good. Um, the next thing I got, I'll do what I got at Target. Next thing I got was the Revlon Lip Gloss in the color... 
doesn't have a color, I don't think. It's just this lilac-y color. It's so pretty. I saw a smoky pink leopard talking about this. And I saw it, and I was like, I should get it. It's going to be spring. I'm not very adventurous with eye color, so I figured I can be a little adventurous with lip color. Sorry, I'm making a swatch for you. It's very opaque, which I like, because I don't really like lipsticks. So it just looks like that. I feel like my lighting is really awful. Is that better? Okay. So there. It just looks like that. It's so pretty. I love it. And then here's something I'm kind of disappointed about. It's a Revlon lipstick. And it's in the color Silver City Pink. And I don't like frosty lipsticks at all. Like, I don't like how they look on. Like, you can't really tell by the swatch. But this is a super frosty color. I love the color, but I wish it wasn't as frosty as it is. It's that one right there. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of just playing that. This was, I think, $5.90. And this was, I think, the same price. So, if not, it was $6 or, like, 6 something. But it's still not bad. But I'm definitely not going to go back to those lip glosses. Cause, I mean, lipsticks, because I find them super shiny. Next, I'm going to do what I got from Ulta from MAC because I only have one thing. Um, I got my first paint pot. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. I've been wanting a paint pot for so long and I never really like went about getting one because they're $16. And I think that's a little bit ridiculous for like, like it's a lot of products but still. Um, it's in the color Groundwork. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. I've been using it every day since I got it. And it's a really deep brown. When I first swatched it on my hand, I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be way too dark for my skin. And it was the only one they had left, and I was like, eh, maybe I can blend it out and make it look nice. And it works so well. I put it right in my outer corner and blend it in to like make a gradient when I put on my eyeshadows, and it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. I wish they had, um... I wish I had Bear Study because I really wanted that, but that's okay because this one's really nice too. So, okay, now I'm gonna do what I got from Ulta, and that's it. So, let's just do this real quick. And what I got from Ulta was the Plump and Shine Herbal Plumping Lip Gloss, and it just looks like this. Um, I've never tried it before. It's by the brand Palladio, I think, and it's in pearly pink, and it's such a pretty color. It's on my lips right now. And it has a brush applicator, and I love this applicator. It is the best brush applicator I've ever used. And it's a very, like, natural color. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see the swatch. You can see it on my lips, but it really just adds shine. So right here is the lip gloss. It looks really pretty. It's really pretty over, like, um, Shy Girl Lipstick from MAC. That's what I've been wearing it with. It's really nice. The next thing I got is a NYX. Um, long eye pencil in white and it just looks like this and I needed a pencil for aligning my bottom waterline so it's kind, it's not as pigmented as I'd like it to be but for the price you can't go wrong just looks like this I may get an NYC one because I've heard they're really good so. and then my baby the last thing I got that I am so excited that I got like almost to say as excited as my paint pot I never even thought about getting NYX eyeshadows. I don't know why I never thought about getting NYX eyeshadows. But I saw this and I was like, this is so awesome. So I got it. It's in the NYX 10 palette in Champagne and Caviar. And it's so, so, so pretty. It's from the Runway Collection. And this is what it looks like. I have never been this pleased with like not high-end eyeshadows, like, ever. Like, these are so amazing. Like, they're, I want to say they're as good as my Urban Decay's. Um, I'll swatch them. So I'll just do them right up my arm. So that's... One... I'll just swatch three, actually. And then I'll do the dark brown, because it's one of my favorites. Oh, I love these so much. Oh, my goodness. So I did these two colors and then that one. So they're right there on my arm. And the, this palette, oh, my gosh, it's so nice. It's $10 at Ulta. And I would 
definitely, like absolutely, positively go buy that because that is the most like pigmented low end eyeshadow I've ever used in my life. It's so nice. I, I've been like reaching for this more than I've reached for my Tarte one, which is like my everyday makeup. And I've also been reaching for it more than I've been reaching for my Urban Decay, which is surprising. I think I'm, this is like, this is like going to be my brand new favorite thing ever. So you will be seeing this again, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so that is my haul. I'm sorry. I keep having hauls. I really like to watch hauls. If you don't, leave me like a comment and let me know. But don't be mean. I'm not bragging or anything. I was just really excited about what I got. And I haven't really gotten to show anyone because my parents really don't care. Like, they're just like, oh, okay, cool. And then I just walk away. Like, I don't get to tell them all about it or anything. But yeah, so thank you for watching. And leave comments down below. And yeah, so. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do a quick what I did to my hair today because earlier I made a video like wearing the same outfit and everything and I said my hair was straight and now it's curly so you're probably like what? So I used my wand like my Conair Infinity wand and I just curled my hair and I see I seem to get a lot of very nice comments when I wear my hair like this in my videos so I really I've been wearing it a lot like this lately but I need a haircut really bad because I have a lot of split ends but yeah just wanted to let you know what I did to my hair and yeah so leave comments, subscribe, that'd be awesome. I'm up to 10 subscribers. Yay, 10. <laughs> but yeah, all right, thanks for watching.